Welcome to our lecture online. What if we want to add two vectors together, but only their magnitudes and their directions are known? In other words, you know how long each vector is, the magnitude of each vector. The magnitude of vector A is 5, the magnitude of vector B is 3.16, and you're given a direction in terms of the angle relative to the positive x-axis. So here's the angle, let's call it theta sub b, that's the angle that b makes relative to the x-axis, and here's theta sub a, the angle A makes relative to the positive x-axis. So since we learned in the previous video that when you add vectors together, you want to add their x components together and then their y components independently, well, we first have to then find the components of each of those two vectors. So in other words, we need to find the x component of vector A, we need to find the y component of vector A, and so for B as well, we need to find the x component and we need to find the y component. Now to find the x component for vector a, we simply project vector a onto the x-axis so we can see that if you draw a line straight down like this, this would then become the what we call the x component of vector a. This vector right here which goes from the origin to this point on the x-axis, this is the a vector projected down onto the x-axis. And so when you look at that triangle, you can see that the magnitude of this component is simply the magnitude of vector a times the cosine of the angle theta sub a. So this becomes the magnitude of the vector a times the cosine of theta sub a. And in the same fashion, if we want to find the y component, we project the vector onto the y-axis. This now becomes the y component of vector a, and the magnitude of that would simply be a times the sine of theta sub a, because notice that this component here would be the same as this component here, that would be the opposite side to the angle, theta sub a. We do exactly the same for vector b, vector b would take the magnitude of b times the cosine of theta sub b, that would be when we project the b vector onto the x-axis, that would be this length right here, the magnitude, b sub x would be the magnitude of b times the cosine of this angle, and then we project that onto the y-axis, that would here be the y component of b, which is the same as this component right here, if I put it right there, that would be the opposite side to the angle, theta sub b, so this becomes b times the sine of theta sub b. So now I have the four components, at least in the general format, let's plug that in and see what we get. So in this case it will be 5 times the cosine of 36.87 degrees, and this would be 5 times the sine of 36.87 degrees, and this would become 3.16 times the cosine of 18.43 degrees, and this would be equal to 3.16 times the sine of 18.43 degrees. Well, let me find my calculator and see what those are. So we take 36.87, take the, the cosine of that, and multiply times 5, and that gives us 4. So that would be equal to 4. And here, we take 36.87, take the sine of that, times 5, which is equal to 3. And right here, we take the cosine of 18.43, and multiply it times 3.16, and we get 3, and here you can tell that I've taken some very careful numbers here to make them come out like this, so 18.43 times the sine of that, and multiply times 3.16, and I get 1. So now what I've done is, after I realized that I was given the magnitude and direction of the two vectors, for each of the two vectors I found the x and the y components, and now I'm able to sum them up, because after all, when we take the vector a and add it to vector b, this is equal to the x component of a plus the x component of b in the i direction, plus the, x, the y component of a plus the y component of b in the j direction. And so now I just have to read this here. The x component of a is 4, and the x component of b is equal to 3, so that would be 4 plus 3 in the i direction, plus, and the y components, for the a vector that would be 3, for the b vector would be 1, so we get 3 plus 1 in the j direction, so this would be equal to 7 in the i direction, plus 4 in the j direction, 
and this would be the sum of the two vectors. And so we've accomplished that by again first finding the x and y components of each of the two vectors and then adding the x components together and then the y components. And that's how we add two vectors when all you know is the magnitude and the direction of the two vectors.